Hi folks, Adam Salties here with a quick video on CoinOS. Uh, this is a web page I made for people to be able to take Bitcoin payments. It's free to use, uh, free to register an account, free to take payments, and the code is all open source and free for anyone to run on their own server or modify. So I hope you check it out. Uh, to get started, you can go to coinos.io. You can click on the register button to create a new account. And just for example purposes, I'm going to fill in a username as Yummy Yards, which is my organic farming business. Put in my email address and a very secure passphrase. Uh, you might actually want to make it secure if you're going to store some real money here. Uh, I don't recommend you storing a lot of money here, though, because it's still in beta software and could have bugs. Um, you can fill in your store name or company name, or if you've got a logo you want to use instead, you could just provide the URL to your image file on your own website or wherever. Set your local currency. Uh, these are uh, various exchanges. So depending on what currency you choose, it'll give you different exchanges that you can get Bitcoin price info from. So for Canadian dollars, I'm going to get my pricing from Quadriga CX, which is a local exchange where people buy and sell Bitcoins online. Uh, this discount field allows you to apply um, some percent that will get added to the exchange rate. So if I wanted to bump it up by 5 or 10%, this effectively would give my customers a discount for paying with Bitcoin. You might want to consider that. And this is the display units, so I'm just going to keep this as BTC for now. Uh, so we see here we've got to coinos.io slash yummy yards. This is my username and this URL I can give out to people. Uh, this page is public. You don't have to log in to be able to see this uh, sales page here where you can enter amounts in Canadian dollars and it shows up at the top and they get converted by um, getting divided by the exchange rate and that gives us an amount in Bitcoin. So if I was to enter in 861.02 Canadian, that gets divided by 861.02 to give us exactly 1.0000 Bitcoins. Or if I was to just take a dollar and divide that, then I would get 0 0.00116141 BTC. We can add a tip on top. So if I wanted to do a, a $10 sale and add 10%, it would add $1. And that also gets encoded down below um, in this QR code here. So this is a typical Bitcoin payment request. People can scan this QR code with their wallet app on their phone. And it's going to fill in the amount here, as well as the address to send to. And this address is generated by CoinOS when we set up our account. And it's going to create a new address every time we do a transaction using a Bitcoin HD wallet. So we have one master key that generates millions of uh, addresses that we control. So we'll be able to access whatever funds are received to any of our various addresses. So let's just go through that. We'll do a $1 sale. Pretend someone's come to my farm stand to buy vegetables, maybe an onion or something. I'm gonna get out my Bitcoin wallet app on my Android phone. This is the Mycelium wallet app. And I've showed in a previous video how to set this up, so check out my channel for that. I'm going to click on the camera icon to bring up my phone's camera, scan the QR code, and it's filled in the $1 and 10 cents tip of 0.0012775 BTC, going to address 1PZEK, blah, blah, blah. If I press send, I enter my PIN code. And we can hear and see that the payment has been received by CoinOS. So it's been watching the Bitcoin network, listening for transactions to that address. When it sees the right amount of $1.10 come in, it's going to notify us. And then we're ready to take another sale. So we can just start typing a new amount. It's going to generate a new QR code. Maybe someone's come in to buy $3 worth of carrots. Oops. Take the tip off this time. I'll scan that QR code one more time. This time it's filled in $3. It's going to 1LDJTU, which is a new address. Uh, 
I've sent the transaction, payment's been received. And now let's click on this menu bar up top and we'll see all the pages available to us in CoinOS. The second one here is the sales report. So by default, it's showing us transactions from the past week. Uh, we can go back in time and change these dates to see a range of transactions from the month or whatever time period we want to look at. Here we see the transactions from today. We're at 1227 and 1228. The first one was for a dollar and a 10 cent tip. I can click on this and add notes here that this was for an onion. And I get this little icon here saying there's been a comment. So I can always click back and check that out. This one carrots. You can also view these transactions on a block explorer like blockchain.info. So this is showing us, I'll just change this to Canadian dollars here. We got the $3 payment and it's showing us various statistics and information about the transaction on the actual Bitcoin network. Back to CoinOS. Um, now that we've got a report, we can see we've received $4.10 total. And that should be sitting in our wallet now. So let's go and take a look at that. Just enter our super secure password that we use to set up our account, which is used to encrypt our wallet. So CoinOS never actually has access to your funds. Um, they're always encrypted on our server, so we can't access them. But if you enter your password, then you can access them in your browser. So we've got $4.10 available. We can put in a, an amount up to that. Uh, if you want to change it to Canadian, you can type it in Canadian or Bitcoin. And then you can put in an address that you want to withdraw it to. So this might be an address from the app on your phone where you keep your Bitcoins, or maybe you have a cold storage paper wallet that you like to keep things stored at that is secure and offline and isn't at risk of people guessing your password or cracking your password. So I'm just going to send it to this address here, which is I've got access to on my phone. We'll just put a low fee on it. So it might take a while to confirm on the network based on what kind of fee we set. Uh, in this case, it's recommending $0.05. Cents, so we'll go with that. We're sending $4.05 total. And we'll go ahead and send that. So that's been sent now. My wallet is now empty. The coins have been moved out of CoinOS onto my phone. Uh, the last thing I guess I'll just look at is the settings page. Actually, we already looked at that. Um, I just want to show you the settings for the wallet, though. This is um, where you can manage your wallet keys. So this is a HD wallet private key that CoinOS generated when we set up our account that is generating all the addresses that we receive to. Uh, but if you want, you could enter in your own um, Bitcoin address here and just reuse a single address. Or if you have your own um, private key from a wallet app that you want to use, you could enter it here and CoinOS will use that instead of using the instead of using its own wallet that it's generated for you. So I hope this was useful. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach me at asaltees at gmail.com and I hope this is going to make it easy for you to take Bitcoin payments at your business. Give it a try. Thanks for watching.